Hello and welcome back to our channel. We are glad to have you with us today for another interesting video about careers in hospitality. Today let's talk about handling guest complaints. Handling complaints and dealing with unsatisfied guests can be an unpleasant situation and take an emotional toll on everyone involved. However, learning how to handle guest complaints in an adequate way can turn these moments of crisis and stress into a great opportunity to restore customer confidence and gain customer loyalty. Let's take a look into this five-step process for handling complaints. But first, if you're enjoying this video, click on the subscribe button and activate the notification to receive more of our videos. So first things first, in order to begin handling guest complaints the right way, we must acknowledge that no matter how hard you work to make your guests happy, at some point you are bound to receive a complaint. Any industry that offers any kind of service is going to have to deal with this kind of situation at some point. So the more you and your staff are prepared to handle complaints, the more chance you have of turning this negative situation into a very positive outcome for all involved. In order to begin handling complaints gracefully and navigating through the situations in a positive way, it's fundamental to have a well-trained staff to be able to address these situations promptly and in a calm, professional manner. This may actually improve your guest experience and improve their view of your hotel and generate positive feedback, which is amazing for maintaining your guest's loyalty and gaining new customers. So let's understand why a guest makes a complaint. Usually a complaint is made when a service provided did not meet the guest's expectations, which can lead to disappointment and frustration during their stay. If you don't make an effort to solve the situation promptly, the customer may not return and also end up giving negative feedback about your establishment, dissuading other potential customers from using your service. Complaints are often a sign that there is a disconnect between what a guest expected and what was delivered. Sometimes this is caused by a customer's unreasonable expectations or incorrect assumptions. Other times it may be caused by something your establishment is doing wrong, like a marketing strategy leading them to believe something incorrect about the service that is offered. Either way, it should be seen as a valid opportunity to take a look at your process and see what can be done differently or better in order to avoid complaints regarding the same problem in the future. One of the most efficient ways to solve these situations is to adequately train your staff. This way, avoiding the situation to blow out of proportion with an inadequate response or reaction from your employees and guaranteeing success in managing these situations. We have left a link in the description for you to access efficient, quick online training that will prepare you and your staff for excellency in customer service, reducing problems when handling guest complaints. We hope these five strategies will help you approach handling guest complaints in a more positive manner and help you turn the situation around into a positive and beneficial experience for you and your guest. But before we continue, if you're enjoying this video, click on the like button to help us bring you more content-filled videos about hospitality. Number one, stay calm. It can be easy to feel frustrated or irritated when it seems someone is attacking you personally. But always remember, it's not personal. They are not attacking you specifically. You are just the representative of the company. So in this situation, you are simply the target of their disappointment. Nothing will be resolved by trying to argue back and prove a point. This will only make you lose your guest and make things worse. By staying in control of your emotions, you show maturity and professionalism Always remember, you are a representative of the hotel. Keeping your composure and not being drawn into an argument will often calm tensions and permit you the clarity to begin to resolve the issue at hand the best way possible. Number two, listen to your guest. When people are upset, they need to feel heard. Let go of the temptation to respond in a quick manner. Take the time to listen and truly understand what is the problem. Providing they are not being aggressive or having threatening language or behavior, let them blow off some steam. Use phrases such as, I see, yes, I understand, 
to show you are actively listening. Let them finish without interruption. Once they have finished explaining the situation and feel understood, they will begin to calm down. This needs to happen before you can move on to seeking a solution. Number three, acknowledge the problem. If a mistake has been made, admit it and apologize promptly. Trying to appear perfect will not benefit your establishment or help you find a solution to make the customer feel better. In reality, people are much more forgiving when mistakes are accepted. Acknowledge the situation, even if you believe a mistake has not been made. Show understanding that it was not a pleasant experience for the guest. This shows your respect and value for your customer and their opinion. The first step is to recognize that a mistake has been made. It doesn't matter how big or small or who was to blame. You just need to be aware that something has gone wrong to then be able to fix it. Without understanding this, it's much more difficult to correct the situation. Number four, get the facts right. Never tell the customer they are wrong to make a complaint. It is never nice to be told you made a mistake and it's even harder admitting to it. But you have to acknowledge to the customer that something has gone wrong. If he is upset, this can help them calm down by at least letting them know that you understand the problem from their point of view and are willing to find a way to fix it. Trying to deny or hide the problem or passing on the blame is only going to make it seem like you're trying to cover yourself, which will only make the situation worse. Once he has calmed down, try to gather as much information as you can so you can have a clear idea of what has happened and have a better idea of how to fix it. Number five, offer a solution. Once you have all the facts, you can now consider a solution. But remember, never offer promises you can't keep. This will only make the situation worse. Be clear that you are taking responsibility for the situation and want to solve it the best way possible. When offering a solution to the problem, always focus on what you can do as opposed to what you cannot. There is always a solution. It may not be exactly what they are asking for, but if you focus on what you can versus denying them their requested remedy, you have still offered a solution. And often merely having another option is sufficient to remedy the situation. Make sure to do your best to solve the situation promptly. Let the customer know what you're going to do to fix the issue and by when he can expect it to be done. If it is as simple as a refund, it can be done right away, but some things take more time. In this case, offering to keep the customer informed so they know it is important to you. Once you have finalized these steps, don't forget to follow up with the guests to make sure they are satisfied with the solution offered. Apologizing and doing your best to fix the situation is the bare minimum that they expect from you. But if you want to go an extra mile, make sure your customer leaves feeling appreciated and special rather than merely a piece of feedback or statistic in the end of your year report. Go ahead and offer them something extra, perhaps a discount on their next day or a free fruit basket or offering a special amenity can help them feel happier and genuinely valued. For more tips in hospitality, go to the link in our description. We hope you enjoyed this video. We here at Magnifying School are wishing you all the best. Remember, information is never too much. Keep studying and keep updated. This is the key to success.